Hi, I'm Cece. And do you see this building? No, you don't. I really hope I don't regret this. <laughs> it's, it's so it's weird not being here, but I just didn't like it. I hated it so much. And it's now inside of all of these boxes over here. And hey, at least I got loads of terracotta and stuff back. And just a bunch of mangrove and redstone and stuff. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a... What? Okay. Uh, so yeah, one of the reasons I got rid of this entire thingy me bobby is because I want to update the station to be the newer version. Because the old version was clunky, kind of bad, it was a bit awkward to use, and I just like the one I built over at Solora way more. And I, I just want to... I, 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 I need to start thinking about how I want this new station to look and I've got plenty of space to work so since this is gonna be a, a multi-station between me and BH I need to kind of uh, think about how you're gonna get up to BH's place so I want to see what's kind of up this hill Let's see if the jump boost can get me up there Paco no Paco no Paco no come on yeah so it brings me out back here behind his yellow building, which is... What's this? Ooh. It looks like someone skinned BH and just kind of, like, stretched him over the floor. Uh-oh. Maybe we can have him go through here. I think I'll just kind of make a staircase up here and I'll let BH decide how he wants to to, to connect up. <laughs> I think we're going to start by getting in the, uh, the staircase that goes up this way. And I don't think this jump boost is really helping me right now. Connect this up to BH's upper area. Let's go turn the jump boost off. <laughs> yeah, this, this is better. I don't really build with stone bricks very often. This is weird. Just such a light block compared to my normal pallet. Uh, place it in quick. Oh, there's a block left up there. Okay, so now that we've got a big triangle, uh, I need to now think about how the station is going to like sit around here as it's only going to have to be a loading platform and no unloading platform, as we'll probably end up just using an activator rail as the way of sort of like kicking us out. So I guess let's, uh, let's do some experimentation. <laughs> I think the best place to start is probably going to be to sort of lay out where the rails are going to go. And I think honestly where it's already turned might be a pretty good place to start. And then we'll have the platform go against here. Now, you already saw me build uh, basically an identical station over in the previous episode. So how about we just quickly skip through and get ourselves to where we start customizing it to this area. Okay, I did more than I expected to, but uh, BH, Crispy and I were having a chat and we just uh, got a bit carried away and I was just building in the background and the building happened. So yeah, this is the this is the new station. I really like it. Ignore this fire. This is just temporary. So it works pretty much identically to the last station and the one that I made in the last episode where you've got a ticket barrel over here with all the routes. Uh, this time we have to have some routes with two tickets. So what I've done is I have basically just put them in columns. So if you want to go to Stratus, you do this one and this one. Solora, this one, this one. M, this one, this one. And then Cherry Sprinkles uh, just needs a single ticket. So I think that should be easy enough to understand. And then up top here, we have these crafters, which will craft up minecarts and then drop them down onto the spot, which I think is just so neat. Basically, the way that it's doing that is uh, just like there's a slanted rail like that. And if I quickly get rid of this and then just boop the button, it'll just kind of clip through the block and drop down onto your spot, which is just ideal. It's great. Much, much simpler than having to go through a barrel and rummage and just get confused. I will need to have a way of doing chest minecarts, but I might just do a chest here because I don't really need... Uh, full crafter setup for that anyways. Then the incoming rail 
is even simpler because it's just going to be a activator rail system like over at Zalora, where it just kicks you out and then the minecart gets sent to a incinerator, though uh, ideally that would actually land in the fire. So now we need to set up an actual place to organize items and incinerate them. Now, I could just do this underground, but I feel like for this area, I kind of want to have it be a bit more of a structure, since we have so much space to work with. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I want this building to look, and I think just starting off with a mud box is probably going to be for the best. We can do some texturing and stuff later. I also think palette-wise, I want to try and bring in some of the like oxidized copper. I think that will look real nice with the mud. Then also bringing in some of the like mangrove wood. It's just a nice steampunky sort of vibe, but don't want to go too far out of the color palette, but I think keeping it somewhat along the lines of the crimson as well could definitely help. And here we have the exterior sorted. I think this is looking real nice, but it still needs some texturing and detailing and stuff. But I need to get working on the interior to make sure this place is fully functional. So we don't have much space to work in here, but I think we should have enough to get what I want done. So I think on the interior here, we want to go for something kind of dingy. And I think going for some dark blocks, kind of like deep slate and basalt and stuff would probably do the trick. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good, and then I need to think about how the rails are going to run through this place, because I need to have a little offshoot for chest minecarts, and then also a place to drop minecarts into the fire, which I think will be over here in this sort of like incinerator that goes onto the exterior of the building. I think maybe if I raise up the minecarts, that might be good. Okay, I think this should do the trick. But if I just quickly put a regular minecart through with no item, it should go forward. Yep, and drops over there. And then if I do a minecart with just some rails in, it should go to the right and stop over there. Perfect. That is ideal. Lovely jubbly. From here, I'll just have this minecart uh, go over here. And then all the minecarts can pile up in this little corner here. So, time to decorate, and then we can get into some redstone. And interior-wise, I'm thinking it can just be some clutter along the edge here with like a divider and stuff, since this is meant to be a disposal area. And then over here, we have just a little area for the chest to pile up. So, if I send some through, the chest minecarts will pile up in the corner over here, and you can either just grab the items straight away here if you want to use them now, or there is a button. So, Hilm, can I leave you here to press the button while I go down below? I'll take that as a yes. So this is directly below the building I just made, that's the floor right there, and I have a tube coming down like so. Then this connects up to this little contraption over here, which I made in a previous episode, and I'll kind of just give a demonstration of how this works and then we can go into more of the, 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 the specifics afterwards. So Helm, press the button. Oh, and there we go. Here comes down the minecarts and then they'll get sent off one at a time. Then just drop over there and another one goes through like so. And I like to call this the minecart Pez Dispenser because it will basically just send out them every time they pass through the system. And what this is doing is basically transferring all of the items from the rail network into my storage system. So when you send a short little pulse through a fence gate, it will open up for a second and that lets a single minecart fall through into it and it drops down into here, goes over this way, goes into some cart yeaters that drop items into my storage system to then be sorted and stuff. And then the minecarts will then come back over here, go over here, Activate this detector rail, which pushes this uh, observer up for a second, which then flips this quickly, sending another one through, and it basically just repeats that over and over again. And then this little doohickey over here is basically a way of knowing when minecarts actually enter the system. So up there, you can barely see it, there's a little piece of string with an observer. 
And when the minecarts fall through that, it sends a little uh, like little pulse, which will then just go down here and uh, just uh, act activate this and then kick the system into just starting and going and stuff. But I don't know how much I'm going to be using it just at this point in the season. I don't really transport items that much on the train network, but it is a nice proof of concept to be used in future projects. Uh, it is very simple to set up. So, yeah. And then over here in my actual storage room area, up here, that is where the items will get sent. They'll get dropped down over here, put into these chests, and then the minecart hopper is currently going back and forth to, uh, like, no, it's not. I got that in here. Minecart hopper will go and grab the items and then transport them back and forth between the storage system. It's not a perfect system, but it does the trick, and I barely use it, so I don't really care if it's not the most efficient. High scaffolding. Uh... Is this done now? I think this is done now. Huh. Yeah, functionality-wise, I think we're done. We've got the, the station, we've got the tickets, we've got the minecarts, we've got the, the item sorting, we've got the incinerator, uh, got the activator rail. I guess we get into decorating. Oh, come on! It's... it's... <sighs> Okay, I'm not waiting for the rain to end to do the next clip, so uh, the, the next step is going to be to, I guess, to decorate this place. It's not taken up as much of an area as I expected, especially compared to the original station. Honestly, this is kind of hilarious how small it is. It could be even smaller, this doesn't need to be a whole building. But now I want to try and maybe put some stuff over here. I think, uh, I don't know, I don't really know what I want to do. Haven't really thought that far ahead. But I think doing maybe like a park would be quite nice. We don't really have much like greenery around here, or at least I guess it'll be probably pinkery because I'm going to be using a lot of cherry blossoms and stuff. So I guess let's get into doing a little bit of design work. This sort of natural stuff is not my strong suit, so we'll see how it goes. This place is starting to look real nice, even if it is just a big spam of flowers. But with this little tree here, that is uh, fine. I, I'm not a big custom tree guy, so this is this is new territory for me. But I quite like it. It's very cute. I basically just copied something from Pinterest, made it pink, and then put some lanterns on it. But shh, don't tell anyone. And then this one over here is just a bit of a wacky inflatable tube guy. Uh, I'll get some leaves on him at some point, but I think I'm starting to run out of time in this episode. It has taken longer than I had originally planned, and are you enjoying the flowers, buddy? Looks like he is. I'm never really sure, though. Maybe he's just hungry. But this project has come out a lot better than the previous one. I just didn't like the previous station, and I think it's important to just sometimes let yourself do something different. Because, like, I know that some people like the previous station, it is definitely more, more stationy, but this just feels more right for me, and I'm interested to see what everyone else thinks about it. But we will get to completing this stuff at some other point, like there's a bunch of just open space back here, some holes and stuff, but we don't talk about that just yet. And while this video was a bit of a shorter one, I hope you guys still enjoyed, and I'll hopefully have a video for you sooner rather than later. This one took longer than it should have because of technical difficulties, because it's always technical difficulties because I'm terrible at everything. <laughs> I love them so much. Look at them back there. Aww. But aside from uh, everything, I hope you guys had a lovely day. I will see you all in the next one, and make sure you go follow me on Twitter. I've also got a brand new Blue Sky account. It is drawn by CC, uh, dot, blue sky dot, I'll have a link in the description. It's a weird, weird handle. I don't understand Blue Sky handles. But anyways, I really enjoyed over there, so make sure you go follow. I'll be posting stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. and I'll see you all in the next episode. Okay, have a good day. Bye!